Oh, Jack, Mike, Jack. This week's exclusive performance. Live. The BBC introducing Virtual Festival. From Nostock, near Bromyard. And would you listen to that? It sounds like it's raining here at Nostock, the Hidden Valley. But in fact, that is the heat and everything expanding on what would have been one of the main stages that would have been taking place right this month. But instead, it's just us and just a couple of people here. There are no huge festival crowds, but we have still managed to book some incredible acts to perform for you today, including this next group who were, in fact, brothers named after the Arboretum in Worcester. Now, they're based in both Worcestershire and also Hampshire at the moment and just going to put out their second album in April and many of those have been re-recordings of a lot of the tracks that they've been performing locally at various gigs as I mentioned they're from the Arboretum and rather fittingly they're called the Arboretum
Thank you. That was Fools of Shadow, the title track from our album that just came out. This is Parallaxis. This next track's for a special person and it's a song of hope 
Beyond This Horizon. This is our last one, Bone Saw.
unsigned, undiscovered, undiscovered and under the radar music. So performing here at our virtual Nostock celebrations for 2021, that is the Arboretum, who rather fittingly come from the Arboretum in Worcester. Now, the Arboretum, let's first of all explain what that is for people who've never been before. It's a historical part of Worcester which has been home to swimming baths, it's been home to tennis courts in the past. There's a festival of light every year, but no, there's a Muslim centre there as well. It's just home to a real cross-cultural audience, if you like. And enough really to inspire you to name the band after yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. of ideas, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but I say band, and actually you had a guest vocalist today, and you regularly talk with guests, but you've been keeping it in the family yeah it's my daughter yeah. <laughs> you're in Worcester you're in Hampshire that's is that right, right yes that's correct yes what took you to Hampshire we were both born in West London okay and then we eventually migrated out in our different directions as family came along and the Arboretum project's been going for longer than the three years we've been playing now hasn't yeah it? since about 2008 right? it was more of a solo project for you yeah. and I did a few bits on it and then yeah. we took it off in live performance wise and it's been going pretty solidly up until obviously last year yeah. <laughs> you've ended up in Hampshire yeah. you've ended up in Worcestershire what took you to Worcestershire I got a job and they said it was in the southwest. I thought it was southwest London. I went for the job and it was in the southwest of England. But I blagged it, got a job, and then my partner went to Worcester Uni when it was a college. So we moved up here. I'd never heard of Worcester really apart from the cricket. And it's my home now since 1991. All right, so why was it named after the Arboretum? Which part of Hampshire do you live in? Why wasn't it named after your part of the world? Well, that's because the band existed. Chris's solo project had already preceded my major input, if you like. Also, I mean, Worcester's got such a brilliant music scene. We play. 90% of our gigs in and around the Worcester area so it makes sense to kind of tie it to Worcester rather than Hampshire which is a bit of a vacuum really. Well and also life. a bit of a trek when it comes to practising. Well <laughs> yeah we kind of meet halfway so that's not too bad so Reading's become the well, it's not quite halfway but it's uh, You're not setting up all your gear in like the services are you? <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah. <laughs> no there's a pirate studio there so it works yeah, right. pirates, okay. yeah. yeah because you've got a fair amount of tech so just explain what you've got to be able to create the sound that you make. Oh, well wow. we've got a little less tech today because we've got a few technical issues normally there's some keyboards that I play a little, we've got the backing track which has got some more synths and then we've got the drum track on that which, which you're doing good. that while playing the bass I might add yeah that's, it's a challenge yeah and of course <laughs> we've got the pex pedals we've both got quite extensive apex. what we're trying to do is make a bigger sound being the fact there's only two of us we've had endless debates about getting a drummer in I think that will happen at some point yeah. it's just the convenience because of our distance apart it actually works you need a drummer yeah. from Reading that's what it is well, that's probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you say that everything's all been derailed as it has been for so many musicians when was your last gig November 2019 at Heroes so you predated the pandemic by quite a few months there. We didn't know there was a pandemic coming, so we focused on finishing our album, and then we realised that we had a lot more time to finish our album. So, so we started again. We started again and carried <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, because you re-recorded lots of yeah. your tracks, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, and we did it over the internet. We never actually met during the whole process. In that period, we then managed to get a small little indie deal with an Italian label called Luminol Records, which is like a distribution deal, so that's helped out really well as well. And then we started realising we had to play it live, so we started rehearsing about two months ago, and here we are. You've mentioned about that Italian deal. How did that come about? Just some Googling and then contacted them, and normally you get no thanks. Mm. But this guy, he's quite a character that runs it, and he's just looking for different sounds. We just hit it off with him. We had a Skype call, didn't we? And yeah. uh, it was just so positive. It was like, why would we not do this? In the year that you can't go to Italy? Yeah, in the year we can't go to Italy, and at that time we couldn't go to Worcester. <laughs> well, this is it. So you say that you've recorded. What about practising? Are you able to do stuff over Zoom or is there just too much of no, a delay? No, no, that didn't work at all. We've all got versions of the songs. I've got stuff without my guitar and singing on it so I can play along and then he has stuff without his bass on it so he can play along. So it's just headphones. So you were booked to play at the actual North Stop this we year were, as well, yes, weren't you? Yes. So I guess that's what you were practising yeah. already and geared up for. Yeah, we were that optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, no, it's definitely going to go ahead. Well, you're now booked for North Stop 2022. Yep. Two for the price of one, as yep. they say. Congratulations on putting together such a great project particularly during lockdown and thanks for coming down and performing today thanks andrew and thanks for all your support over the last couple of years it's really yeah, much absolutely. a difference thank you bbc introducing in hereford and worcester with andrew master be part of it